Hi there, Andrew Hemming. I want to show you uh, opposite arm leg raises, or sometimes known as bird dogs. And so this is a great exercise. Um, I'll show it to you first, and then show you some really important ways to kind of tweak this up. So uh, I'm just going to use a stick on the back here. show you kind of what that looks like. So this is an exercise uh, that is great for beginners just to work with kind of a crawling pattern, uh, great for shoulder, hip and core stability, gives an element of anti-rotation stability. Uh, this is also a fantastic kind of activation of corrective exercise for people who are more advanced. And so you could use this a little bit at the beginning of your training, uh, not necessarily to create overload, but just to kind of rehearse a proper pattern and work on recruitment. The trick when you're doing this is you gotta get things uh, position well. And so what happens is a lot of people just come in this position, you know, they kind of do that and they're like, I don't feel it, okay? Uh, this exercise is not about lifting your arms and legs as much as it is controlling stability here uh, and controlling this position uh, in the presence of change, Charlie Weingroff quote, um, with the movement of the arm and the leg. Uh, and so a couple things that you can do, I learned the stick trick uh, years ago from Andre Wopatlin. Uh, and it's an excellent way to kind of ensure a uh, neutral spine and proper posture. So I always want to enforce that when you're doing that. So you don't want to be in a position of hyperextension or hyperflexion. Uh, and so that will really help you out a lot. Okay? Uh, also, once you've got to that, and so what the stick does, it shows you posture. It also makes you instantly aware if you have any rotational issues. So for example, if I come up and start to twist, uh, I immediately feel that and I feel the stick start to come off my back. And so having the stick in position uh, just gives me that feedback, it kind of acts as my coach to enforce good posture, uh, making sure I have contact with the head, the upper back, and the tailbone, and that there's no rotational movement. Uh, another uh, common, common problem people have is that they fake hip extension with lumbar hyperextension. So instead of coming out in this position here and extending the hip, what they do is they hyperextend the spine, okay? Uh, and that is a, a faulty movement pattern that not only places stress on your spine, but reinforces the exactly you, you is, I can't talk, but that reinforces the way you don't want to move, okay? Uh, and so what you want to do is as this leg is coming out, you want to make sure that you're completely locked in at the core so there's no change uh, to the spinal curve. There's a slight arch, but it doesn't change, okay? Uh, Mike Boyle offers a great tip with this, uh, and that is that as you're coming out, think of dorsiflex in the foot, but only allow the heel, don't let the heel come above the hip height, because when I come up here, that's when I'm forced to compensate. Again, it's not about lifting the leg up, think of it more as extending the leg out, okay? Uh, and that will help lock that in. So, great exercise if it's done well, and these are some things that will help you get the maximum amount of benefit uh, from this exercise. Enjoy.